I'm making this video about the temporary fix for the black screen issue on the Lenovo Legion Go. So as you can see, if you put your device on 60 hertz, and I am running my device on 1200p 60 hertz, that would give me the issue. I'm not going to change my resolution because this is like where my most of my games are running okay and playable. More than that, if they're not playable, less than that, they look terrible. So I used to put my, I used to cap my device on 60 hertz because the games that I play, they can't really go higher than 60 frames on the settings that I run them. If I run them on lower settings, then they don't really look good and they're not really playable. So. I would cap my device on 60 hertz, but apparently the 60 hertz is gi is giving everybody some issues. So I don't know if other people that they have this issue, they're also capping their device on 60 hertz or not. But for me, it happens mostly when it's on 60 hertz. So there is a little workaround for this, which is pushing the power button and immediately pressing one of these buttons or one of these side buttons on the D-pad which would bring you to windows again but that's like a hit or miss sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't sometimes you need to do it maybe three four times like turning it turning it off okay and you should not do it back to back to back because it it's already crazy and glitchy so if you do it back to back to back then it You gotta try with these buttons. Like right now, I didn't even press the power button. I just put it to sleep and immediately started pressing the A button here and it just woke up the device and brought it to Windows. But here is the thing. The, the, the temporary workaround for this would be setting your device on 144 and leaving it on 144. It looks like when you cap the frames, you cap the, the refresh rate on the screen. That's when this thing starts happening. So the workaround is put put it on 144 for now until the Lenovo uh, engineers or developers, whatever, they figure out a fix for their seven, $800 device. Um, you can do this, put it on 144. Most of the time it's working for me. I have not had the issue on 144, regardless of number of times that I put this thing to sleep, I'm back on and just like, I'm doing it like really like I'm abusing this device right now kind of <laughs> but it's working every time so you can do this and just go go inside of your um, games graphic settings and if if it offers a um, basically frame rate if it offers you any frame rate settings just cap the frame rate on 60 hertz your other option would be going to the AMD software and capping the global settings on 60 frames, which I don't exactly know where it is, but most likely it's going to be here. You go to your global graphics settings and frame control frame rate target control and you can set it on 60 frames from here so basically it caps all of your games at 60 hertz but you're going to run 144 hertz on windows which might consume some more battery but at least it wakes up every time and comes to windows instead of going crazy and just showing a black screen which you can't do anything with it and uh you know, just shutting this thing down and powering it back on is not the best thing you can do because every time you do that, if you go to your Windows Reliability Center, you can see that there is an error registered saying that your device was turned off um, not the proper way. So, yeah, for now, this would be your temporary fix, 144 hertz.